Can the 29 gallon Harbor Freight air compressor run an HVLP spray gun? I put it through a test to find out. I already posted a full review on the air compressor, so go check that out if you have not seen it. This is the Harbor Freight Purple Spray Gun. I paid $10 with a coupon. This is a cheap gun that a lot of people like for spraying primer and even base coat and clear coat in some cases. It's definitely not the best spray gun, but a lot of people get pretty good results with it. This gun also does not use that much air. It's rated at 6 CFM, and the air compressor is rated at 7.5 CFM. So the compressor should be able to run this no problem, right? Well, not so fast. Here's the test I'm going to be doing. I'm not actually going to be painting, but this test will still give us an idea if this compressor can handle the air consumption of this HVLP spray gun. What I've done is set the regulator on the air compressor to 40 PSI, so when I'm actually using the gun, the pressure is 40 PSI. That's about the maximum pressure for this gun. In some situations, you would probably use less with this gun, but we're just gonna set it up for the maximum. I have the air screw here completely open, so it's consuming as much air as it can. Those of you with a sharp eye might have noticed I'm not using a regulator on the gun. Typically, you would have a regulator screwed in right here, but for this test, I'm not doing that. Instead, I'm using the regulator on the air compressor. This is not a perfect test. For example, if I was actually painting this car, there would be little breaks where you wouldn't be using the gun for example when you are moving around the car to get into a different position but this test will show us if the air compressor can produce enough air to run this gun full bore what i'm going to do now is move this camera into the air compressor room and point it at the gauges on the air compressor then i'll run this gun solid for five minutes and we will see if the air compressor can keep up I finished the test and boy, the compressor pump here is really hot. I'll talk about this more in a few minutes, but it shows that it's, it's not ideal to run these constantly. So what did we learn from spraying this gun for 10 minutes? Well, the compressor cannot quite keep up and the motor had to run constantly. The compressor produces almost enough CFM to run this gun constantly. That's why the tank pressure dropped pretty slowly. If this used way more air than the compressor could produce, then the tank pressure would have dropped really fast. In those 10 minutes, the tank pressure dropped to about 60 PSI, so it was able to keep the gun at the 40 PSI I started with. This whole test shows that ratings for air tools and air compressors are sometimes a little bit optimistic. Harbor Freight is not the only one that does that. So it is possible to use this gun with the 29 gallon air compressor, but especially if you're painting something really big, there might be times you have to wait and let the air compressor catch up. But if you give the compressor little breaks and you let it refill between coats, then it can totally work with this gun. But you do have to stay with low CFM guns like this or a pretty popular one from Spray It. If you were going to try to use this compressor with a higher end gun that uses something like 12 to 15 CFM, then the compressor is really going to struggle. And running the air compressor constantly is not good for it. It produces a lot of extra heat in the pump and a lot of extra water in the tank. If you plan to do a lot of painting with an HVLP spray gun that uses a lot of air, then it would be better to get a compressor more powerful than this 29 gallon one. So what do you guys think? Do any of you own this compressor and you've used it for HVLP spray guns? Well, which gun did you use? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, hit that like button and that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.